to granddad. <laughs> Looky there, he's awake. You daft! Don't go in there! Shut it, he's in chains, can't do a thing. Am I right, Master Geralt? <laughs> roll again! Why? The dice didn't roll! Calling me a cheat? Take it back. Look, he's awake again. Monster slayer, my ass. A regular horson. I heard witches would start out as roadside orphans <laughs> taken in by mages. Mages who experiment on them. <laughs> Folks say they plow witches come the equinox. That's how they get those spooky eyes. Enough! Take him down and put him in the interrogation room. I thought you died. I'm not so easy to kill. I don't believe we've been introduced. Vernon Roach. Walk around behind me if you want to shake. How foolish of me. Vess! Unshackle him. No, thanks. Bring something to drink. We can't sit here cotton-mouthed. You will tell me everything you remember. The entire assault. And all that happened in the solar. And if I refuse? I shall have to beat you. I've commanded the special forces for a while. Got good at beating others. You're a witcher. You'd endure much. You better believe it. Worst case scenario, you'll suffer through it, go back to your cell, and tomorrow, they'll publicly gut you, skin you, and hang you. Just like that? For nothing? No. For Temeria. Downright praiseworthy. Where should I start? It was a long day. I wish to hear the important bits. Just so we're clear on this, I was not eager to go into battle. But Foltest is not someone you refuse. Witcher, are you ah. up? 
His Majesty, King of Tiberia, Pontar, Mahakam, and Sodden, Senior Protector of Bruges, summons Master Geralt to appear before him. Tell him I'll be there shortly. Sorry to intrude like this, milady, but the King... We heard you. A pleasant day to you, milady. Witcher. Stupid war. Could have been such a beautiful morning. A war can never be stupid when waged by your king. A wise war is a contradiction, Triss. Then maybe you know just how I should advise our lustful monarch. Stop falling in love, sire no further bastards, and don't wage stupid wars. Genius. You know these bastards could vie for the throne in the future? Then we'd have an even more senseless conflict. Which doesn't change the fact that... I know. Altest and the other northern monarchs are neither the smartest nor the most refined. But they're kings, one of whom we serve. And I'll see Foltest is summoned, protect him if need be. But once the castle falls, we leave. Did you dream of the wild hunt again? Mm -hmm. I get the feeling that dream's important. Running frantically through the forest, the wild hunt. They're the last things I remember. I wake up and try to relive the dream and the memory, hoping I'll find some guidance, some clue to grab onto, something that'll help me recover my memory. Dreams can be very powerful. Some people claim they can even shape reality. People claim a lot of things. The problem is, it's often nonsense. We'll know in time. I'm sure of it. The unlucky assassin? How did the autopsy go? It was a nightmare. In the months since you killed him, the King's medics poked around in his corpse like a bunch of amateurs. What arrived in that cart? Well, I wouldn't even call it a corpse. Foltest has some trust issues. Did you learn anything? His pupils suggested he could probably see in the dark as well as you. I couldn't put an age on him. The killer snuck past all the guards and nearly killed Foltest and me a month ago. And now you tell me he was a witcher? Possibly. I'm just saying what the autopsy showed. I haven't told anyone, nor do I plan to. I know what it could do to you if it got out. You might be a savior, a king's witcher now, but masters can be as fickle as the cults they ride. One of the scouts swears he saw a dragon down by the river. Claims he ran into a Scoyatel unit. That would have been it if the dragon hadn't swooped down. The elves apparently bowed in prayer and he escaped. A dragon? In the midst of civilization? Oh, please. Besides, does it matter? Witchers don't hunt dragons. Or has something changed? Nothing's changed. And you're right. It's probably not a dragon. Although it could be a forked tail or a slizzard. Maybe even an overgrown wyvern. The scout ran into some elves and scurried away. That's how that story begins and ends. All right. Time to look to the lustful king and his stupid war. I'll join you later. Geralt of Rivia ought to know about amulets. Witcher, sir, I have a question for you. We know each other. Don't recognize your old mates. We're the Crinfrid Reavers. I lost my memory. As did Boholt. After the hunt for the Golden Dragon, he took a spill and hit his head on a rock. 
He can still be a beast in battle, but besides that, he don't do much save eating shit. Rarely even lusts after women. I doubt that's amnesia. I'm Kenneth, and this one here they call Desperate, and this is New Boy. He's um, apprenticing with us like. I haven't had much luck with the monsters of late, so we enlisted. Now New Boy's gotten itself into this wager situation. Would you help us for old times' sake? I mean, we all got a little riled. But those are bygones, as I see it. We'd have set you free. The sorceress, too. Boholt was just fooling about the raping and all. What rape? Shut your trap, Desperate. The Witcher don't remember. Waste of words to remind him. We're old mates, that's that. So you'd have raped this old mate? Just the sorceress. You were there to kill the dragon. The sorceress too. The peasants wanted at it, everyone did. But there was only one prize. And we argued. There was some commotion, a regular rumble in fact. We tied you up like hogs, meaning you and the sorceress, and went after the beast. That dragon thrashed us so hard, we spent the next half year licking our wounds. You freed yourselves of your bonds. Who was the sorceress? Raven Air she was. Remember her name, Desperate? Er, uh, Conifer or some such. So, willing to help some old friends, Witcher? What kind of trouble are you in now? It's a matter of life, death, and quite a bit of coin in point of fact. New boy better night that he'd survive the assault in his shirt and knickers alone. We drunk a bit by then, I admit, but a wager's a wager. Our honor's at stake. A soldier's honor versus a knight's. I think I get it. The very core of the matter, Witcher. We're slated to go in the first wave, so the going's liable to be hard. New boy's brave, but he can't survive by courage alone. In any case, we've come into this bauble that's supposed to protect him, magic like. You mind casting an expert's glance at it, seeing as sorcery and such is not strange to you? Let me see this bauble. Your wolf medallion, I saw it shake. It reacts to magic. So it's true, what the priest said. Hear that, new boy? You'll be safe. We'll fleece that night, we will. Where did you get this talisman? We came by it, let's say. We were on patrol, see, and ran into a couple of novice priestesses, praying at this shrine. Nice, smiling and all. We don't want to take them to on patrol. Ho oh, ho ho! But shut it! Boalt had one of his rare moments of clairvoyance, went rummaging in the shrine and found the amulet. Who knows what goes on in that head of his, but every now and then he wakes up as good old Boholt. Aye, he still cuts them down with a single wallop. In any case, we took the amulet and went off to find the rest of the patrol. Oh, the wonders we saw. First, ran into some squirrels, vicious ones, arrows flying everywhere, but we came through untouched. Barely three of the others still standing when a dragon swooped down, the elves fell to their knees, we all legged it. The amulet's magic for certain. Though it failed to protect the shrine from your patrolling. Aye, true. Well, now we don't know what to think. There's clearly magic in the trinket, but I doubt it'll deflect swords or arrows. Shit, I knew it! I told you so, you idiot! Screw honor! Don your metal, new boy! You'll go into battle, confessional and all! So be it, though I'd like to have fleeced the noble. Damn shame. What say you to that, flunkies? Long live the king! king. Close order! March! Those trebuchets are fucking pounding the pool out of them! Skin them alive! <laughs> trebuchets are fucking pounding the pool out of them! <laughs> Laugh all you like. Come the assault to be slipping on that shite.
Don't oh, leave this person to get out of food to your wenches. Eliminate the stragglers Any first. Get the asses, Geralt! Curses. A foothold on the wall is all we need. Any Pick advice the from a Geralt? With Voltes to victory! Voltes said if you don't order, he'll rip your balls off. No passage. Don't see Voltes, Geralt. For the fury. A beautiful day for battle. Fear not, Excellency. We're out of range of their armor. I am no warrior, sir. I must admit, I prefer to joust verbally, or with a pen, the emissary of peace that I am. Hogwash! You're the emissary of the white flame dancing on the graves of his foes. The Emperor of Nilfgaard, who spared no blood conquering over a dozen sovereign realms. Thus bringing them laws, culture, and peace above all. Finally! Traitors of the realm boil tar on the walls while you dally with the royal advisor. How may I assist you, sire? We mount an assault today, and you'll be at my side. Follow me, gentlemen. Let's not keep the traitors waiting. Sire, you said we were out of range. That was a ballista, Excellency. His arms strengthened with bronze plates and strung with horsehair. It can propel heavy bolts up to a mile away. A deadly and very costly weapon. An experienced crew can cock and release two bolts each minute. Yet it has one flaw. Your Grace, please take cover. The recoil of the arms is so strong upon firing that the weapon shifts. It simply cannot hit the same spot twice. I had no idea your grace was a learned military engineer. I'm not. I gave the Baroness those ballistae two years ago for her birthday. What say you, Excellency, of men who live in spite of such wounds? And what say you, your grace, of soldiers who inflict them? Those who did this live no more. Master Geralt, I wish to converse with you once the storm of battle has subsided. Forgive me, Excellency, but I plan to meet you with soldiers. You might have a What do they call you, soldier? Wait. You served with me at Brenneran during our foray into the Pontar Valley. Norman Sadel. Still an arbalist? Yes, sir. Fight has not been kind to me. Ha! <laughs> Norman Sador, for your years of faithful service to the Crown, I appoint you Decurion of the Arbalists. Onwards, gentlemen. No reason to dawdle. Forgive my candor, Your Majesty, but uh, I must ask... What fate awaits the royal bastards when they're my children? If I hear bastard one more time, someone will die. Painfully. Your Grace, forgive me. But the laws of succession are irrefutably clear. Piss on the laws. I'll change them if need be. Above all, I'll not allow a band of treacherous barons to use my children as their banner. Your Majesty is entirely within his rights. Thanks to Geralt of Rivia, my daughter Ada is alive, and is now the wife of Radovid of Redania. I see. I fear you do not, Excellency. The midget king merely awaits my demise. I am certain King Radovid of Redania wishes your majesty a long and healthy life. That wasn't even amusing, Excellency. The old families will never accept a Redanian on my throne. Ada will have to content herself with Redania. I understand. The issue of succession remains unresolved. Your Grace, I request your permission to retire. You have it.
Black ones in my camp before a battle. What has the world come to? Nothing would make me happier than turning his shriveled head to Emir in a sack. Triss Merigold insisted I be patient and courteous. Was I? I couldn't have handled it better myself. Ha! I always knew you were one of us. And bugger what folks say. They talked about Adder no end. Have you learned anything about the assassin? Nothing new, sire. A month's passed and we don't know any more than we knew when we began. This investigation's going nowhere. My agents have learned little also. But we'll find the culprits. It's just a question of time. Now for the battle. I want you at my side. Then you may go where you please. Thank you, sire. Where are you aiming, imbecile? Soldier! Spyglass! What is going on up there? The gods! Count at your very! Cash, Witcher! Aim for the rogue with the red plume. Not six months ago, he swore eternal friendship to me. Quickly! How much higher? One and a half degrees. Did we hit the bastard? He's down. Ha! One less traitor. Time to attack. Follow me, Witcher! You know, Witcher, I'm prepared to forgive Louisa. All she need do is to kneel before her king. Very noble of you. Are you mocking me? Never mind. I'm certain Louisa will realize her mistakes. Besides, children should have a mother. I'm lost. It's quite simple. Louisa and I had a bit of a tip. She made demands I could not fulfill. Understand? I think so. Count Echeverry and others immediately intervened, all noble, all sympathetic. They claimed the evil king would take her children, but they would protect them, even place them on the throne. And the Baroness was duped, her motherly love used. In truth, they desire privileges that would weaken the throne. That's a swiving soldier's life! Taking orders, smash your foe! Going in country there, your wife! And a long road at your toe! Ridiculous. It was designed to break the rebels' morale. A bunch of lords and lordlings took a ride to then pompously stride on top of the walls, while the real army fought and died below them in the shit and piss-filled streets. If years of service have taught me anything, it's that the Highborn don the best costumes and get the best vantage points, whether at a ball or in battle. But it's not the time for that kind of jousting, Witcher. Continue your story. Things went relatively smoothly after we came out of that tower. That is, until we ran into Arian Lavalette.
Lord Sukson, you shall push for the center aisle and bring down that gate. It's a good day to kill, Your Majesty. Follow me, gentlemen, for Temeria. Lord Swan, you and your men shall follow me. We must capture or otherwise deal with Arian Lavalette in order to break the defender's morale. Yes, Your Grace. Geralt, gentlemen, follow me for the glory! Fall back, God damn it! I forbid you to die like imbeciles! Hear me! They've taken a good position, the bastards! If this persists, they'll pick us off like ducks. And I'm no duck. Any ideas? That ballista would do the trick.
Gotcha! You shall push for the center aisle and bring down that gate. It's a good day to kill, your majesty. Follow me, gentlemen, for Temeria. Lord Swan, you and your men shall follow me. We must capture or otherwise deal with Arian Lavalette in order to break the defender's morale. Yes, your grace. Geralt, gentlemen, follow me for the glory. Fall back, God damn it! I forbid you to die like imbeciles! Hear me! They've taken a good position, the bastards! If this persists, they'll pick us off like ducks, and I'm no duck! Any ideas? That ballista would do the trick.
Tower men! Storm the tower! The gods are with us! Like the rabid dogs you are! Arian Lavalette, this will be no easy task. Surrender, Arian! You'll be treated with honor! Go plow yourself, King! Bury them in arrows! Come on, men! For Temeria! They're well shielded. You've got a better idea? I'll try to get inside. It shouldn't be hard if the archers provide cover. That's the son of Louisa and the old Baron. Heir to these lands. He's hot-tempered but good with a sword. Be careful. I'll try to reason with him. Cover the Witcher! Down with 
the famed Geralt of Rivia. You've fallen low, Witcher. Word has it you're one of the best swordsmen in the north. Time to test that rumor. Enough slaughter. Surrender and Foltest will treat you and your men with honor. And what guarantee is there that he'll not cut us down to the last? None. Foltest defiled my mother. Now he colludes with Nilfgaard. The king leads an army. You have but a few brave men and your honor. In a minute you may lose even those. Choose. Hear that, men! The king sends a witcher and we are to surrender, forgetting the very nature of honor and pride. We must choose. Shame or a witcher's sword? Is that how you would live? Will you bow your heads before Foltest? Never! You heard them, Witcher. Don't be a fool. This is no game. Your men don't need to die. Surrender, and the king will show mercy. My mother has seen enough of this king's mercy. What'll you do? Throw yourself on my sword? Run? He made mother a harlot, then denied her before all the realm. True enough. But no massacre, no misguided heroism will change that. Drop your weapons. Should anything happen to my mother, I shall find you and kill you. Arian Lavalette laid down his sword. Well, well. Have you spoken to him? Briefly. Just before they took him off to the torture chamber. The hard luck of a traitor. Continue. While I remember, what happened to the dragon? It destroyed half the castle. Killed hordes of soldiers and flew off. Where? In the general direction of Edom. To think it almost killed us all. Arian Lavalette has surrendered the castle. Open up! And the Baron lives? Yes, he lives. I'm not spiteful. Open this gate, kneel before your king, and I shall show you mercy. Looks like we're stuck. Indeed. And my magic's no good here. The main force down in those boots is going to beat us to town. Want to head back to the tent? The camp will be nice and empty now. I've had enough for today. Tempting. The King's special forces. We want to see him! You doubt my words, dog! Open the gate now! Vernon Roach. Tell me, Roach. There's fighting in the town. A section of our forces crossed the river in fishing boats and swarmed the streets, burning, raping, pillaging. The Lavalettes are making a stand near the temple. What of the Baroness? Alive and safely tucked away. Unsoiled, I hope. As you ordered, sire. She's fine. And beautiful as ever. The children were not with her. But you know where they are? In the monastery. But we've yet to penetrate that area. Cross, quickly. Protect the king! Dragon, take cover! To the hoardings! Protect the king! 
Run for the holding! I'd give my life for a heavy crossbow right now. It's a dragon! I can't believe it! Marigold, stop admiring it and do something! It's not that simple! Before the brute turns my army to cinder! Witcher, how do you fight something like that? You don't. You run. You are Ruggans! Take cover! The for the hoarding! You must stand a chance there. Is it true you witches don't have dragons? the course of the battle. The fighting should have scared it off. Forget the dragon. I need to hear how this story ends. You were at my side almost all the time after the bridge collapsed. Almost. Tell me how you got into the monastery courtyard. And they said we couldn't get near the walls. Half a day and the town is taken. Report! Fighting for the castle continues, and a group of rebels have barricaded themselves inside the monastery. What of my children? Likely in the church as well, sire. Fen took a priest to task, finally mumbled something about a passage neath the walls. It would take a week to get a battering ram in here. Axes, sire. That will also take time. But what other course do we have? This priest. What of him? What of this passage? I fainted for I could really get going on him. He's under guard below. You've some work to do, Commander. Yes, sire. Silas, you look to this door. Fen, come with me. Witcher. Your grace. I have a mission for you, one suited to your abilities. Vernon can be persuasive, but he's also hot-tempered, at times losing both his self-control and his subject. You must try to find this other passage on your own. Succeed, and you'll be the envy of all Vizima. All right, I'll go. I'm relying on you, Witcher. Better those axes! Move your asses! Soldier, sir. Shut it. Godzilla's! What have you done to her? Shut it. Time to pay your war Oops. tax. Gold and silver on the table, and shut your gobs. These people are unarmed. This is not your concern. Get lost. Get out of here now. Uh, right, sir. Let's go. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Be careful. You may not be so lucky next time. Find a place to hide. I must find my wife first. They herded her away with others like cattle. Good luck. Your 
tainted souls. It'll be better this way, for all of us. You've no business here! Leave them alone. They're innocent. Innocent? They're with the lavalettes! Weeds that need to be ripped out with their roots so they won't grow back again! Treason spreads like the plague. No one will leave here alive. And you, stay out of this. I won't stand by while you murder innocents. So, what'll you do? Kill you. I was not after your blood! I have witnesses! Let the people out and walk away. Unblock the door! I'll report this. Yeah, you do that. Burn anything or touch a single woman, you sons of bitches, and the king will hear of it. Leave us be! You're free. Thank you, my lord. Find a place to hide until this madness ends. But where? What shall we do now? And now, Corson, I was just following treason. orders. What treason, my lord? We're simple. <laughs> Nothing. Lost. Like dog. Ah!
Goyatel. You have just become the most titled Witcher in the world. And the wealthiest. I'll remind you of that when this is all over, sire. 
See, Vernon? Geralt succeeded. Lucky he did. The priest was downright discourteous and went off to meet his gods. I saw Scoia'tael on the river. Where? How many? What colors did they wear? Plow the elves. We'll tend to them later. The monastery awaits. Scoia'tael. This puzzle is beginning to come together, Geralt. You're either telling the truth, or weaving a very convincing lie. I want to hear the rest. Voltes bastards. The Solar. What happened? We might have arrived at the same time, if not for tales. Be specific, Witcher. Well, the Archpriest told the truth. His Majesty King Voltes of Temeria. Arthur Tales, erstwhile Count of Nesvelt. I signed your sentence. Yes, yet the Baroness saw fit to pardon me. An awkward situation, to be sure. Anais and Busi, where are they? The royal children. Don't test my patience, Tales, and I'll grant you a quick death. Confess, Foltest, before the gods and the people. Busi and Anais are the fruit of your loins. Bow to the gods and admit the truth. You may not have noticed, Tales, but I just took this town. Aided by murderers, sorcerers, and a mutant for whom nothing is holy. This is hallowed ground. You will not raise your hand against a servant of the gods. Where have you taken the children? The Solar. They're in the Solar. What is this? Blasphemy! Sorcerer's tricks! Oh! Holy man unharmed and the noble gets slapped. A win-win situation, if ever I've seen one. Damn, I've seen assaults go awry, but the dragon topples them all. Tops. Tops what? Well, tops all. Damn nonsense! Geralt, you should know. Is it possible to tame a dragon? Not as far as I know. Then why is this reptile eating only my men? Let's hope Marigold got out of there. I'm sure she did. If not, you'll need a new advisor, sire. Shut up, Roach. It's possible that the dragon simply... Another word from you and the dragon will not be your main concern. Enough! The dragon's back! I come! Save my life again. Ask what you will of me, Witcher. Within reason, of course. I need to leave, sire. I'd like Triss Marigold to come with me. If she wants. Are you blind? She's enamored with you. You may leave, and none shall stop you. You have my word. Who goes there? Foltest. I've come for my children. Geralt, wait here. You might scare them. 
Ah, thanks be to the gods. My prayers are answered. That's not my father. But it is your king, boy. <laughs> Bells, your triumph is complete. The city and fortress taken, sire. Time to thank the forefather and the mother creatrix for this great victory. A moment, blind man. I've not seen my children in six months. The gods can spare another minute. Listen to me. Your mother and I quarreled, but that is over. She was deceived. Evil men turned her against me. These men have been punished, and all will be well from now. No tears, Busi. One day you'll be king. And kings do not weep. Armed men approach, sire. Children, go to the refectory. My knights will soon be here. You must meet them, for one day you will rule them. Busi, go wash your face. They must not see that you wept. There's a bucket of water in the next room. A nice. Help your brother. Sire, let us pray. They must look like the royal children they are. Hmm. They have your eyes, sire.
Huh. I suppose that's the extent of what you'll give me. Does this mean I'm free? Foltest, King of Temeria, has been murdered. Unfortunately for you, you're the only suspect. The murderer outsmarted you, so I'm to rot in this dungeon. Oh, no danger of you rotting. You'll hang. Convince them otherwise. I have no influence over the court. What if someone vouched for me? You have a witness. I was thinking of Triss. Were she not your lover, who knows? But it's common knowledge she is. What happened to her? Well, she's fine. She's been invited to the next meeting of the Council of Regents. What's the situation in Temeria? The Council of Regents has convened to restore order. That means three things. Utter chaos will prevail, Visima will run dry of wine and strong drink, and the local whores will make a killing. Is Triss participating in the meetings? Indeed. Only to find out that she's no longer needed. How do you know? It's my business to know. They want to run a kingdom without a sorceress? They already have a kingdom without a king. They'll use every opportunity to get rid of her. Who will rule? The chief contenders are Count Maravel and Baron Kimbolt, who already tussle for control of Lavalette Castle. What about Foltest's bastards? The king's blood runs in their veins. So yes, they are entitled to the throne. Not some drooling nobles. For fuck's sake, you command the Blue Stripes. Do something. The real murderer is free, and he's further and further away with every hour you spend prancing around in here. I find the killer monk story unconvincing. I don't claim he was a monk. He was wearing a frock, though. He sailed off in a boat with some scoyotel. Would you recognize him? No problem. A mountain of meat. Never seen anyone bigger. What would you do if you escaped? I'd go have a beer. Are you trying to annoy me? Vernon, if I escaped, you'd be the last to learn my plans. Let me tell you a story. I hate stories. There was once a witcher who was accused of murdering a monarch. Wrongly accused. The charges against him were very serious, and only one man could help him. Let me guess. A handsome prince. The commander of the Blue Stripes. Sadly, the Witcher refused his help and was hanged. I prefer happy endings. Then help me, Geralt. Looks like I'm out of options. Let's do this your way. What would you do if you were freed? I'd go after the Kingslayer. You know where to look for him? Some Scoia'tael helped him escape. That's where I'd start. I expect you might know this particular group of elves. How'd you work that out? They wore blue striped masks. Trophies, I expect. Yorveth's commando. I know where to find them. We've a trail to follow after all. If you want to start over and take it easy this time, get me some food. Now that you mention it. Vess! Bring us food and drink. Huh. Shame you didn't think of that earlier. It's your own fault, Geralt. Your fate is in your hands. Thank you. Never heard of women serving in the Special Forces. This is one of my best people. How'd she wind up in the Blue Stripes? I pulled her from the paws of the Scoia'tael. Just sixteen when they torched her village and slaughtered everyone. 
The unit commander took a liking and spared her. One last thing. This file is about one Geralt of Rivia. And Foltest's death? Actually, Geralt's death. The report details events from five years ago. Rivia. Population 1,234. In that, 253 non-humans. September the 25th, 1268. A riot erupts. A massacre ensues. The streets run with the blood of elves and dwarves. One person finds the courage to face the raging crowd. During the rioting, 76 non-humans perish, including the witches Geralt of Rivia. Stabbed in the chest with a pitchfork by a man of whom we know only that his name was Rob, and he owed three crowns at the local tavern. Yennefer of Vengerberg dies trying to heal the witcher. The bodies of Geralt and the sorceress are taken away by a mysterious young girl with ashen hair. Their place of internment remains unknown. I remember. Rivia. Yennefer. What just happened? I saw... I saw my own death. And the rest? Have you regained all your memory? That's all. I just remember the end. Vess! Interrogation's done. Restrain the prisoner. I'll take the key. I sail up river at dawn. Guards will collect you in five minutes. Eat. You'll need your strength. Not yesterday. He was a hero, pretty much. Everyone's man. Personally saw him cut down 20 men in the blink of an eye, so it's no surprise. Hmm. See him dashing along those walls? Can't rightly say I ever saw his sword the blade move so fast. I thought that beast would turn him to bits when it came out of the clouds. Delayed don't mean denied. Hangman will do that tomorrow. <laughs> Say we uh, teach him a lesson before he did to Foltest. I'll not touch the scum. I get scurvy. Right. Hangman will do it. He's poxy already. Guard. Come here, good man. Why are you hollering? Do that again and we'll shut you up. You wouldn't say that if these bars weren't here. Is that so? Let's see. Rip your guts out!
Go plow yourself! Anais and Busi are my children. One signature, and you'll hear the poem no more. Never! A dog tore into a kitchen and grabbed a sausage link. A stupid cook took up rage and killed him in a blink. Another cook done saw this, wise and good of heart. He made the dog a tombstone and carved this epitaph. Ah! <laughs> You're right. Uh... Appointment's not due tomorrow. Sorry, I'm in a hurry. You'll see me today. Sooner expected death than you, Witcher. I thought about letting the Reaper in first. Why are you here? We'll talk later. I need to get out of this dungeon and you're going to help me. The Lavalettes never leave their debts unsatisfied. Especially ones of honor. And I know these corridors better than anyone. But tell me, 
What of my mother? Did Foltest hurt her? He ordered the Blue Stripes to guard her like some invaluable treasure. Soon afterward, he was dead himself. But you did not slay him? No, Arian. I didn't kill him. Do you know who did? No, but I intend to find out. We should go. We'll start by making our way to the oil store. I cannot walk unaided. You must help me. Lean on me. Done with him, Hangman! We're to take the corpse! Damn it. Hangman's so into his victim, he can't hear us. What the? Shout. Ah! I will not sign! Never! Ooh, he's a stubborn cocksucker. Best not disturb him. Hangman will bring him out when he's done. I think they bought it. We need to be careful. Come on, mate. Please let me out. I beg you. I'll wait here. Return for me once you've cleared the way. The garrison here. of some sort. <laughs> what was that? Stairs. This way. Stop. 
Second door on the left. That's the oil store. to do now than ever before. Alone. I need no one's aid for what I aim to accomplish. Is that your final word? Farewell, Witcher. Halt! Oh, blimey, is that you, Witcher? They say you killed the king. Well, I didn't. And I'm going to prove it. I'm inclined to believe you. Glad to hear that. It'd be pretty stupid if I had to kill you now. Did all the Reavers survive the assault? Aye. They've been drinking themselves silly for two days now. I believe I owe you something. You don't owe me a thing. We wound up in a boiling cauldron during the assault. You know how it is when lights get caught in a tight passage. Nowhere to go. Those in the back push forward. Those in the front are stuck. And halberd blows raining down from above. I'd have been crushed if not for my armor. And about ten blows landed on my helmet. My ears still ring and I puke time and again. But I live and breathe. Concussion. It'll pass. Were you on patrol with the Reavers when they ran into those squids, Hell? Aye. Kenneth mentioned the unit was especially vicious. Notice anything out of the ordinary? The unit emblem or something? Right you are. They had masks made of the cloth of special forces uniforms. And they hollered a lot. Yorva, for some such. Where did the dragon come from? I've no idea, but it saved our asses. The elves ceased shooting at the sight of it. I can't tell you anymore, as we fled right then as if the devil himself was on our tail. Take this. Kenneth told me to study up, but I've not the mind for it. Just not cut out to be a dragon hunter, I guess. It could be useful to you, though. I need to go. There are sentries on the dike. No way you'll slip through. Can you distract them? Um, I'll try. But remember, count me out if there's a fight. In fact, we could end up in foes. I hope not. Go. Just give me a minute. Bloody hell, you didn't have to torch the castle. Peace and quiet. I'm impressed. The boys were betting you'd turn the dungeon into another Blaviken. Can we sail? That peace and quiet might disappear irretrievably at any moment. Triss, is everything all right? Not exactly. I'm no longer the royal advisor. I've lost my post, my home in the Zima. Witcher's mistress, they call me. Kingslayer's whore. Triss, you put yourself out there. I ran into a hangman torturing Arian Lavalette, trying to force him to confess to incestuous relations with his mother. Foltest's children were to be Arians. Sons of bitches. The hangman has hanged his last. An interregnum is chaos by definition. Rats like Baron Kimbolt and Count Marivel rule Temeria now, or strive to. 
But no one save old Natalis can restore true order. Natalis is far away and of low birth. The crown's simply out of his reach. Baron Kimbolt, on the other hand. Politics is secondary right now. Vernon, learn anything new about the Kingslayer? A week ago, I got a message from an informer in Flotsam. He saw Yorveth in the company of a large, bald man, not unlike the one you described. A week ago? Sounds like a cold trail to me. We need to start somewhere. The trading post is a few days upriver, in the forests that lie on the Adernian border. Yorveth's territory. Flotsam it is, then. Triss. Yes? I'm a bit beat up. Will you look at my wounds? Mm-hmm. Let's go below deck. And I need you to tell me about Yennefer in detail. I want to hear it all, even the things you don't want to tell me, even the things that might hurt. Prepare to cast off! Clear the lines and all aboard! Lines clear, Captain! Honor's a curious thing. Honor made Arian fight a mismatched battle against the might of Temeria. Facing defeat, Honor told Arian to bow his neck to save his men. But that same honor prevented him from saving himself. Life can't be easy for anyone who's unlucky enough to be labeled a regicide. That goes triple for someone like Geralt. Could his luck get any worse? I've known the Witcher for a long time, and I'm sure that kings, courts, and politics concern him about as much as last year's snow. But hey, life doesn't always dole out what we expect, right? Sometimes it even forces us to associate with unsavory characters like Vernon Roach. No, I'm not making any excuses. And yes, I had my reasons. The Witcher spent most of the way to Flotsam talking to someone. Long into the evening, as water lapped against the boat's side, Triss told him forgotten stories of his unexpected child and his toxic relationship with a sorceress named Yennefer. Stories of a life stolen from him. Am I boring you? Don't set this tale aside. Give me just a few minutes more, for someone special's about to appear in dire straits upon a scaffold.
sheathe your sword, Elf. I'm here to talk. Bow low. You stand before a head crowned. That of Demavand, King of Edurn, by the grace of the gods. Sovereign of the Pontar Valley, and so on. And you are? A friend to non-humans. I have an offer. Speak quickly and to the point. The Arrakis will soon return, and I'd rather know all before then. I can add several more heads to this one. Each crown. Go on. Fault has to start with. I barely escaped in Edurn. I'll need help. Access to your hideouts and maps of your secret trails and the support of the Scoia'tael. I want no gold and have no interest in the killer's fame. Then why do you wish them dead? It's a long story. Your beast nabbed his neck. Time to go. Do we have a deal, Elf? 